Hey everybody, in today's episode we're with Juan Pinion of Pinion Landscaping. He's my ace gardener at my home here and we're going to share some things that are going to help you have the best garden this spring and summer. Since 1988, I have had one passion only. That is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Sack and Stone team will always be cutting edge. Hey, it's Scott. Thanks for joining me for another edition of Around the House with Scott. Today I'm in my garden with Juan Pinion, my gardener and landscape guru. Quick little bit of background. I live on a busy corner and I don't have a lot of yard. In fact, my yard is really, really small. And as a realtor, my days are crazy. And when I come home, I really need to relax and decompress. So I've had Juan help me create my garden and especially now maintain it. And I got to tell you, I come home and thanks to Juan's magic, I do get to relax every day and enjoy my garden. And I want to talk to Juan today about two tips he's going to give us as it's springtime and you may be thinking about redoing or refreshing your garden. And those two tips are very similar to the things that help us as human beings thrive. That's why it's really easy. It's water and food. Juan, talk to us a little bit about the different needs of the plants and for their watering, for example. Well, all depends on what kind of plant I'm talking. Different plants need a different water. Correct. Like uh, if you want the flowers to bloom, you have to add a little bit more water. I see. If you see on the plants that they are like kind of sad. It means something is wrong with the plant. Okay. Probably needs water or fertilizer. Got it's it. It's basically the both things the plants need. Perfect. Water and fertilizer. I love it. And that's a good point. Juan's saying the plants kind of talk to us. And he was sharing with me earlier today as we we're preparing for today's video that even though we have automatic irrigation, some varieties of plants are going to need a little bit more water and they need to be augmented, maybe running that timer for an extra round on Sunday or just taking a walk around the garden and looking at your plants. If something's a little droopy or something, give it a little bit of water. Or even when you're at the garden center, you can check for the water needs of your individual plants. Isn't that right, Juan? Yeah, is, is that right? So even if you don't want to go to the automatic system, you can even get the hose and do it yourself. All depends um, how far the plants are. Yep. Especially when they are in a pot. Uh -huh. need extra water. Also, if you see holes on the plants, that means something it's eating the leaves. Got it. So we need to spray all, um, we have all kinds of spray. And you do have organic sprays as well, because yeah. I'm an organic gardener. I love to attract my bees and my hummingbirds and I feed the birds. And yes, there's sprays we, you can use that are friendly for them, right? Yes, we have sprays that don't uh, hurt bees or butterflies. Okay. Like organic fertilizer and organic spray. That's awesome. So that's healthy for the plants and healthy for the people. I appreciate that. And you were telling me earlier today too that your fer the fertilizing needs are different. Like right now, we have annuals and perennials that we want to bloom and have a lot of flowers, but then we also have other plants like our hedges and so forth that we want green, fresh, healthy growth. And that affects the type of fertilizer you might use and how often, correct? Yes, uh, all depends on the plants. Like I say, the, the big plants need like, like a strong fertilizer small plants like flowers they need um, fertilizer that is a little bit light they make it bloom and grow got it so what i'm hearing is it's not rocket science but it's a matter of perhaps when you're buying your plants check with your garden center professional ask them or consider hiring someone to take care of your garden again yes it's an expense i look at it as an investment in my peace of mind and my sanity to have Juan take care of my yard and it's created that sanctuary that I want. Thanks for sharing today, Juan. Again, I know you're just opening the book on all the options available, but we just wanted to let people know food and water are the keys and just like people, no two plants or flowers are alike. What would be your final closing tip, like the best tip for someone for this spring to have success with their garden? Yes, uh, look on the right um, fertilizer and uh, right amount of water and, and um, they also have to have a right gardener, like a good gardener. A good gardener, thank you. And I think Juan's the best for me, but again, consider what might be the best for you. Thanks for watching. At the Sack and Stone team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text, or email, and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.